what's going on everybody thanks for tuning in as always thank you everybody out there for tuning in to NC vaping uh, from the long timers to the new ones climbing on each and every day to the ones that have climbed on along the way in our vaping journey each and every one of you are very much appreciated and hold a very deep special place in our heart with much deep felt vape love for you we appreciate what you do so we can do what we do for you today we're here to talk about heck vapor company heck vapor and um, we're here to talk about the big dripper atomizer from heck vapor um, they've put out their version of it um, if you want to call it a clone or whatever but they put out their version of it and they made a, uh, you know, a change in there a little bit and um, I'll show you some of that when we go down low and take a good look at it uh, but here it is I've got it on my Smoke Fury S mod looks pretty good on there with that thing all nice and shiny stainless steel this is a big long booger now it's tall <laughs> and I'll give you all the specs to it when we go down low and everything um, let me get my air holes lined up there let's have a Ooh, ooh. Let me give it a little squirt, squirt, squirt. Juicer on up there a little bit. Ooh. All righty, all righty. Let's pull that off and take a look there. All right. You can see my cotton here. All right. Let me uh, bring that focus in for you a little bit yeah there you go all right you can see that there a little bit see how my cotton's a little bit wet on the one side it's not quite as wet on the other um i'll touch base on that uh when we go down low and then as you can see here i hold this up so that you can see this go ahead and let me get the focus in here again and you can see the little tiny hole right in there let me go ahead and turn it over this way um, you can see a little tiny hole right in there, and let me push. Ooh, look at there. Did you see that fluid ooze out of there? Uh, did you see that? Eh, eh, sorry about that. And let me push it again. Ooh, look at there. All right, let me get that over my dripper. Eh, eh, get, get in there, get in there, get in there. All righty. Yeah, let me check that out. Yeah. That's, I, yeah, that's, I, I, I've double checked it, double checked it, double checked it. And, um, We'll go into that more when I go down low. I'll tell you my thoughts on the little hole in there where the, the juice comes out. Um, and, and even so, the big company, whoops, even so, the big company, uh, the, the main companies, Innovation Vapors that made it or whatever, own sub own Vapors or whatever that is, um, there's it the same way. And I think you know, there needs to be a little retweak in there. Uh, on the, where that hole is, how that hole is made, um, because of the way the juice runs out uh, of the hole. Um, let me get some squirts down in there. Let me get it all around a little bit. Ooh. Let me pull that off and look at it again. Let me go ahead. Some more squirts, a couple more pumps there. Let it go down in there. Let it go, let it go. Let me pull it back off. Look at it now. Yeah, let's get that down. All righty, all righty. Let's have vape. Let's get ready to go down low and uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, hang on just a second. Yeah. Here we go. Hang on. All righty, all righty, all righty. Out of the vapor fog we come. She's all cleaned up and ready to go now, so we can show this thing off. Let me sit this over to the side here. All righty. This is how it comes to you. Nice little box. Um, got little designs on it over here, like you drip juice on the package and stuff. You <laughs> see, I kind of like the way they're doing some of these boxes now. And this is not like a little magnetic flip box. This one kind of slides out from the side, and it's got the same little logo there on the box too um but you can see right down here yep right down here at the bottom right there it's got on there the uh by heck vapor 
All right, and this is the Big Dripper. This is their version of it. Uh, they've kind of redone it. And uh, they uh, have got a really nice product here. Open up the box, and you get like a lot of the usuals. You get your little Allen key you need um, for trapping your wires. You got your little Allen screws in there. I kind of like the little Allen screw things. I mean, the screw screwdriver Phillips heads are nice, but I kind of like the Allen screws. Then it comes with some silica wick, it looks like. Some silica wick. And then got a couple little, let's see if we can get it to focus in here. A couple little pre-made coils uh, in there for you. Um, there you go. Not bad looking little made coils. They're pretty straightforward. I just don't know about the wiring. Um, don't really use this stuff uh, when we get them. Um, I just kind of make my own wires because I just don't know about the wires. I mean, because they're a little funny colored there. They're not silver, so I'm not quite sure what kind of wire that is. Um, I'll lay that over to the side. Then it comes with a nice little box, nice little cushion pad. There's nothing underneath. Got your nice little drip tip um, that comes with it. Pull that on out of there. There we go. Bring that up here where you can see it. Let me fix the focus here. A nice little drip tip. Um, machine it on. It's not too bad. Excuse it. If it's a little bit dirty. I cleaned it up the best I could. Uh, machine it on. It's not too bad. Got a nice little fat o ring right there that holds in pretty good. Um, and then you can see the bore that's on the bottom right there. Um, you got your nice wide bore here. Um, I just wish they would have opened that up a little bit more right there. Um, so that you had a little bit wider bore on there uh, to go with that. It's really nice looking little drip tip though. I like it. Machine is on it's pretty good. All right. And then we pull the king of the show out here. Here is the big dripper. And you push it like that to squirt your juice in there. It's got the little cyclops holes uh, on it there and there. It's made for dual uh, dual coils or let's go ahead and turn that and get it unscrew that and get it on off of there. And here is the spring on the inside. Got a nice little spring. Works pretty good. Here's the inside of the dome. I'll show you that a little bit better in just a second. We'll push that on out of there and get that on out. There the other piece is. Break that down into the pieces. Take just a second. And we will get this on off here. There we go. And I've already kind of got it built. <laughs> that way, I went ahead and rebuild it. Uh, it is set up. Let me give me a little pointer here. My little magic pointer. Um, this is made for dual coil. Um, I, I wish they would have made a single coil slot on the tank uh, so that you could have run this in single if you wanted to. Um, it would have been really nice. But it is made. Let me fix the focus here so you can see this a little bit better as I'm trying to show it to you. There we go. All right, flip it over on the side here. As you can see, you got two slots, one here, one here. Um, and that is so you can build your coil on this side or over here on this side, uh, whichever way you prefer. And I think a lot of that really comes into play uh, a lot of times for like left handed and right handed people. Um, and then it's the same way here on the other side. You got your slot here and then over here. And then you just build your coils in front of one or the other. Okay, and tuck your cotton down in there. And then, you, like I said, you got your Allen screws that come down in here. And it traps the wire pretty good, and I haven't really had no problem with it breaking the wires neither. That's why I kind of like the little Allen screws, because it just seems like uh, with those, uh, compared to a lot of the Phillips head screws and stuff like that, I don't have as much problem with the wire breaking, tightening the screws down, um, or, or them loosening up too much from the heat. Uh, like Phillips head screws do. They kind of loosen up a little bit. You kind of have to check them every so often. And, you know, had had a problem with this. Um, it's got nice little rings right there. Um, that was one thing uh, I weren't real happy about, I mean, with this package. Uh, 
you got the nice little package here with the silica wick in this and your allen key but they didn't give you any extra no extra o-rings uh, for it that is one thing uh, they do need to look at doing uh, is throwing the, the extra o-rings in like a lot of the other companies do so that you got some extra o-rings in case you have a little goof up um, let me try to get all this into the picture for you there all right here is part of your tank piece all right, I'll get into that one in just a minute we'll show you the inside of this let me fix the focus here where you can see this real good machining in it's really nice uh, it's got super fine threads. Yeah, I mean, you can't hardly see the threads right there. Super, super fine threads. Um, the machining in there is pretty good. Uh, I haven't really seen any problems with it. Same way with the tank, the outer shell. Um, the machining on it seems to be pretty good. And then there's your O-ring up in there where your piece goes in here. And the same thing with this. I mean, the machining on it is pretty good. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and drop that back down in there. In there. there we go, get it pulled. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> Big dummy. And push back through. There we go. All right, we'll go ahead and slide the drip tip. Boop, locks in place pretty good. And then, yeah, you just push that to push that down to squirt your juice down in there. Here is the other piece. Machining on this is really good, pretty good. And here's your little hole right here um, for your liquid to get down in there. Okay, machining on it's pretty good. Like I said, the threading on this is really fine. Um, nice little low ring there. Uh, there's your Cyclops holes. And then here is your inner piece. Now, the only thing that really gets me with this, and you can look at it here on this side. I really, really wish, um, and, and even so, the, the 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 company that made this, the hole, where the placement of that one hole is, because I mean, you know, with physics, they can't really have two holes, you know, because then it would be constantly. Because I mean, the the they, they got to have the pressure, okay, and that's what makes this work, okay. If they had another hole over here on the other side it wouldn't work right okay but that hole if there was any way they could put that hole closer to this post to where it would drip more toward you know this it would go more toward the center because the only thing e even with the main one and i've seen a lot of reviews for the main big dripper and i'm not saying nothing bad about this i mean because it works but i see to where it could be tweaked a little bit in the future because when that fluid oozes out of there, it goes more toward the side wall over here and runs down. So it doesn't really wet your wicks evenly. You see what I'm saying? You get more so on one side of the wick uh, on your dual core than you do on the other. So it doesn't really wick. And even the main, the, 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 the real ones that made the real one uh, from Innovation uh, set on it. Uh, it, theirs is the same way you know that hole if it was a, to me I think if it was a little bit more toward the center uh, closer to the, to the main post there the hole I think it might would work a little bit better I mean that's just my thoughts I'm not sure um, but that's just the only thing when that oozes out of there it oozes and, and goes more toward the side and runs down the wall it doesn't necessarily really drip down in there um, so it kind of saturates your wicks real good on one side, but it doesn't get them as wet on the other side because it's working more to the one side. Unless there was some way they can work it out to where they could have two holes and it work, uh, that would be a great thing. Uh, but you just have to make sure you line your line your stuff up. You know, when you put it up in there, just make sure you line it up with the hole where your coal's at. All right, like so and put it together and to fill this you just take that sit it down and you can hold it in your hand and just uh, this holds three to five mils let me fix that focus sorry about that um, this holds three to five mils you can just hold it like that some people say uh, just sit it down and do it I'd you know, rather just hold it that way 
you, you don't have the end of that piece close to that other ring so you don't get no leakage out but just fill it up close to right there to the edge of that chamber coming up just fill it up to that and then if you won't and then go ahead and start to put this down in there and put that down in your hole okay and then if you, you want to you can cock it to the side and try to fill it up some more but you know what I'd just soon just fill it up to the top of that thing right there and then that way it's got plenty of, of uh, air space in there just fill it up to that give me my three in there instead of trying to worry about getting this push down in there and holding it over to the side and trying to fill it on up the rest of the way just put it together back together like that and screw it back together like so and then make sure you wet your wicks good before you start you know filling the other tank up go ahead and wet your wicks up good and then you can just push it down and you can see push it and it springs right back to action they put a better spring in these than the ones like the originals they they got another a little bit stiffer spring set up in these um, so it comes back really well all right now some of the specs on this they got it here on the bottom uh, the screws there is what hold your your two negative posts in right there those two screws that's what keeps those your your negative post tight does have a copper contact and it does have uh, sealing around there uh, around the contact o-ring sealing so you don't have to worry about the uh, contact coming over to the side um, uh, it does have made in USA and a number on there you know they could have left the made in the USA part off you know uh, I mean, because I mean, it's a really nice product and it works, um, but they could have just left that off of there. I mean, that wouldn't have been a big deal. It's going to be on the bottom where you don't see it, but you know, uh, that could have just been left off. Uh, and then they got the little sub ohm innovations little tag right there. Um, this is 22 millimeters in diameter. It's 304 grade stainless steel. It's got three millimeter juice well. It's got your copper contact on it. Uh, it's got nice large holes in the post for so for your coils and it's got your dual cyclops there um, I would like to see another slot made in there so you can do it single if you wanted to um, tank capacity can be up to five mils if you fill it the way that I was talking about putting the top in there and kind of moving it over to the side that gets you five mils there um, your little push activate and dripping thing um, it does have a reduced chamber when this is all put together uh, and it does have a high temperature uh, resistant peak insulator inside of here and um, the Allen head screws are made to reduce for cutting uh, cutting your wires um, and they did upgrade like I was saying that spring in, in there they upgraded it to a better spring um, from the original manufacturing of it so that it has a better better response and, and, and pressure to where it comes back better um, than the original all right so that is that and uh, we'll wick it all up i'll fill it all up and then we'll vape on it and talk about it some more all right we'll be right back in just a little bit hang on now Ooh, all righty all righty we're back up here on the top side on the top side yeah i'm enjoying it it's got some really good flavor uh, i am really impressed with that because there is really good flavor coming out of this um it does have a decently reduced chamber in there. Um, it's not real small. It's not the biggest, you know, uh, but it does have a decent, you know, reduced chamber and the way the form is in there. Uh, I do like the flavor that comes out. You can blow some clouds with this thing, depending on how you build it. Um, and it does have awesome flavor. I give them that kudos to them on that. Um, I do like I do like the design of it and where it's going. Okay, um, it is a good item and it works. Do I recommend it? Yeah, I recommend it. I really do because it does work. And there's plenty of people out there that would be satisfied with this. Um, you just got to make sure that you give it a few pumps and let it soak good so that some of the more of the juice can go over to the other side because it wets more of one side than it does the other. And that's why I'm talking about the hole and the placement of that hole. Um, I think that's coming in the future. I think these companies are going to uh, find a way or, or retweak it in a way to where it will wet the wicks more evenly. Um, 
and I, I know that's coming. They're going to be version twos and version threes. There's, there always is uh, because they got to make a product and see how it works and find out where the little bugs and tweaks are and redo them. And this company already did that by doing a different spring in here. They put a better spring in here than what's in the original that the original company made. So see, they've already made improvements right off the bat to it. Okay. Um, I do like that. Um, now, like I said, you know, uh, with the writing on the bottom, I mean, some of that stuff, you don't even have to do that. You know, leave the Made in the USA stuff off of there, um, things like that. The serial number stuff, that don't really mean nothing. You know, it really doesn't. Um, you know, that stuff could be left off. We, we don't really need that. Um, just make the product the way you're doing and make your changes and your designs and keep up the great work. I think they did a great job on this. Um, and I, I'm thoroughly enjoying using it. Let's have a vape. Woo! Damn, that's yummy. And that is good. I mean, I am really enjoying this thing. Um, I have a link down below. Like I said, this came from Heck Vapor. Um, it's a, a company out of China, and they got some really great products and some really decent prices. And uh, I'll put a link down below to their website so that you can go check them out um, and, and check out the products, the other products they have. This is a new thing that they got that they're bringing out. Um, I do have another one from them that I'm going to be doing another review here uh, shortly, right before long, uh, probably in a, a few days or something, is which is the Expromiser um, Atomizer. And I'll be doing that one too. Um, these are new products that they're bringing out. I don't think they're quite on their website yet. They're getting ready to be uh, brought up onto the website. Um, but they do have other items and things on there right now. Or if you are interested in that, you can, you know, send an email there or talk to somebody there and see about getting this um, because these items will be coming here soon onto the website. Um, these are some new ones they brought out. They've sent them out to have them reviewed, see what we think about them, and then they're going to get them put on the website. Uh, thank you, Heck Vapor. It was my pleasure to review your product. Um, like I said, the only things I would say on it is uh, if there's a way to retweak that hole, you know, that's, you know, to where the wicking can, but even the main one that was made is the same way. Um, so, I mean, that's nothing on y'all's part there, but y'all did go above and beyond and you changed to put a better spring in there, um, which is really nice. You know, and, and I appreciate that. Um, I like the design on it. I think it looks good. The machining on it's good. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. The thread's good. It's really, really fine thread. So make sure if you're messing with it or, or any, make sure that you get it going good so that you don't cross thread things and mess your threads up. Um, other than that, the machining on it's great. The thread on it's great. Uh, it works. It holds the juice. Like I said, I just fill it up to the top of that post. And, and not worry, we're trying to get the extra couple mils of juice in there by uh, putting the thing in there and cocking it all to the side, trying to fill it all up. Just fill it up to the top of the post. And then that way it has the air in there that it needs to make sure for equal whatever with the physics for pumping it and getting it out of there. So it's not overly pressurized in there, is I guess what I'm kind of saying. Um, I love the boxing. Uh, uh, it got to me very fast from when they told me they were going to send it. Got here really quick. Um, but other than that, um, heck, vapor. They seem like they got some pretty good stuff so far. Um, so far, I would recommend them. You know, if anything changes on that, I'll let you know. If I have any problems with this in the future, I'll come back and update and let you know. But other than that, uh, let's give it a couple pumps there. Let's have a vape and let's wrap this up. Thank you, Heck Vapor. Thank you all of you out there for tuning in. I hope you have a great day, great evening, whatever it is you're watching this. And um, thank you for watching the videos, liking, sharing the videos, and all that stuff that you do. It's much appreciated. Other than that, as always, stay safe. Keep doing what you're doing. And until next time. Woo! Bay bone. We'll catch you next time. You have a good one now. Thank you, Hex Paper. <laughs>